ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks. This is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Let's go. Coming up, Razer reveals new cloud based gaming handhelds. But first, Kanye West is set to buy the social media platform Parler. The current owner, Parliament Technology, said it had reached an agreement in principle to sell the pioneering, uncancellable free speech platform to the rapper. The social media site only returns to the Google Play Store last month, having been removed for allowing posts that seek to incite ongoing violence in the US after the Capitol riots in January last year. Kanye, who now goes by the name Ye, said in a world where conservative opinions are considered to be controversial, we have to make sure we have the right to freely express ourselves. A husband and wife team who helped develop one of the key COVID vaccines have said cancer vaccines could be accessible for patients by 2030. Professors Yugar Shaheen and Oslem Tureshi from BioNTech worked with Pfizer on a COVID jab but actually co-founded their company in 2008 to work on tailored cancer immunotherapies for individual patients. Speaking this month, the pair admitted they're hesitant to say they can find a cure for cancer, but said they have had breakthroughs they'll keep working on. The pair said their work on coronavirus has helped them learn how to manufacture vaccines faster and better, and said it will definitely accelerate the cancer vaccine they're working on now. The CEO of a company planning to build what he calls Europe's first smart city with a net zero footprint has said he wants to create a city that's sustainable, efficient and resilient to climate change. We're trying to create a unique destination in the world, a paradigm city. We call it the art of life. That's Odysseus Athanasio, CEO of Lambda Development. He said the project will use advanced smart city infrastructure like electric transport, AR navigation and smart energy and water management systems. It's a huge project that Odysseus says will be a 15-minute city connecting the sea to the park to the mall to your next meal. We're going to create a number of iconic architectural developments. It's going to be a smart city created from scratch. And on top of this, uh, we're going to have um, a place in which in 15 minutes walking distance, you can work, live and uh, get entertained. The city will be based in a suburb of the Greek capital Athens and will include a 2 million square metre park and a 1.5 kilometre sandy beach. Six UK universities are joining a scientific mission to learn more about the origins of our universe. The experiment, known as the Simons Observatory, is all about looking at the cosmic microwave background in space, which is the trail of heat left by the Big Bang. Scientists say studying it can shed light on our understanding of how stars and galaxies were formed. UK research and innovation is investing £18 million in two new telescopes for the experiment. At the moment, teams from the US are building a ground-based telescope on a mountain 17,000 feet above the Atacama Desert in Chile. Now, one for the gamers. Razer has released fresh details about its upcoming handheld cloud gaming device, the Edge. Razer's Edge, get it, is designed to play games from the Android App Store as well as Steam and Xbox Cloud Gaming. And the stats are quite impressive. It supports up to 144 frames per second through its OLED screen, uses Qualcomm's G3X gaming chipset, and runs on Android 12. But it's not an all-in-one handheld console. The device is actually a 6.8-inch tablet that can be removed from its controller. Coming up, Apple might be changing how we use the iPad. Plus, the research into how mushrooms become magic. Why not hit follow and give us a rating during the break? Welcome back. A team of researchers at Plymouth University are taking on some research to find out exactly why some mushrooms become magic. Experts at the uni said so far, several hypotheses have been put forward for why some fungi create psychedelic compounds, like using them as a form of defense against animals and insects, but they've never actually been tested. Those compounds found in so-called magic mushrooms are increasingly being recognized for their potential to treat health conditions, including depression, anxiety, compulsive disorders, and addiction. 
The team in Plymouth plan to use DNA sequencing and other lab tests to investigate interactions between fungi and insects, and whether the fungi undergo genetic changes during attack and development. Now, research shows young LGBTQ plus people are nearly twice as likely to experience hate online. The data from the annual Digital Youth Index study also suggests that more than two thirds of young people have experienced bullying and harassment online or viewed distressing content. 53% of young people, though, said they felt that being online had a positive impact on their relationships with friends, but more than one in four said they'd like to spend less time on their devices. The research was carried out by internet firm Nominet, whose chief executive Paul Fletcher said, society depends on young people learning to thrive in our increasingly digital world. And finally, it's reported Apple is working on turning its iPad into a smart display with a new dock. Apple expert Mark Gurman reckons the company will make it more of a smart hub device, which spends most of its time in a dock on the counter with a speaker, similar to Google's plans for its upcoming Pixel tablet. Mark reckons we could see something similar being done with the iPad as early as next year. He said the move would mark one of Apple's most significant pushes into smart home devices. You're up to date. Come back at four o'clock for the Leader Podcast for more news from the Evening Standard. We will be back tomorrow afternoon at one. See you then.